What's up everyone, thank you for tuning back into At Home Dude, I appreciate you. Today we're gonna do a quick review of the Arizona Commemorative Air Force Museum. The biggest thing that stuck out to me about this experience was just that the volunteers were so nice. They were so patient with us. Obviously, we had children running around being crazy, touching things they weren't supposed to. But the volunteers were very patient with us and they had so much knowledge and it was so educational to be able to listen to them and explain everything that we might want to know about all the different aircraft in here and all the different other artillery pieces or weapons, everything in here was was just very interesting they had engines exposed they told us about how they painted the aircraft and restored them it was just very interesting um, and it exceeded my expectations going here initially The setup is pretty much two large hangars and a small area in between them. And just so everyone knows that the hangars don't actually have great AC. I'm not sure if they have any AC. So obviously in Arizona, if you're going there during the summer when it's really hot, it could be warm in there. When we went, it was a little bit warm, but it was tolerable for the hour plus that we were there. They even have a lot of small exhibits that specifically tell you about certain things, whether it be uh, helmets, patches, Tuskegee Airmen, many other things. It was very interesting and educational. Overall, this was a very good experience. Like I said, the staff was extremely nice and patient with us. They were very knowledgeable and the kids actually had fun. They are kind of difficult to please in terms of museums. Sometimes they can be bored just seeing objects, so they don't have that appreciation for it yet. But they really enjoyed it. David really loves airplanes, so he liked it a lot. And we were able to stick around for an hour and a half to two hours before the kids were tired of it. So that is actually a very long time for our kids. The place was very clean, the people were nice, and yeah, overall I give it um, two thumbs up. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. If you like aircraft, they have plenty of different aircraft and tons of information about um, what they did with them, how they were used. They even have uh, demonstrations of some of the engines and things like that there. It's just really cool. Even though it's a smaller museum, it's not like huge or anything. It is a decent size, but I would say the tour might take you, depending on how many questions you ask and how in depth you wanna go, it could take anywhere from an hour to like probably two and a half hours if you really ask about everything. In the back, they have the second hangar where they're actually doing more maintenance on the aircraft and it really gives an inside look of uh, what they do, how they acquire parts to put these back together to their original form. Well, that's all I got. Um, I thank you for watching. And if you like this and want to see more, uh, hit me with a like. It really helps the channel. And uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop another episode. Thank you. Bada bing, bada boom.